Welcome back. We've got Shannon Becker in the studio with his big three news stories of the week. Happy Friday. Good morning to you. Hello, Shannon. you. You doing Fantastic. well? I'm good. Yourself, yeah? good. Great. Thank Wonderful. you. Let's take a look at the big three stories this week, live and local. What's happening where you live? Number three, it was Bates County, just a little bit north of Nevada. There's a fire in the median, mm. fire department putting it out, Rich Hill Fire Department, and a Bates County Sheriff's deputy struck from behind 70 oh. miles an hour. Wow. So when and stuff like this that's happening on the interstates, yes. always like a fire truck or a police mm -hmm. vehicle kind of block so the fire department could do their work. Yes. Uh, rear ended, we're talking multiple people rushed to hospitals. Oh. One was flown to Kansas City. Uh, we learned from Sheriff Chad Anderson of Bates mm -hmm. County that the deputy is doing fine. He, in Good. fact, helped get people into the ambulances oh, wow. before he was taken to the hospital himself. Unbelievable. So it's a pretty amazing yes. story. Check it out, KOM News Now. Our number two story, live and local, breaking news. A young man on a motorized bicycle is killed as he struck from behind near Jasper, Missouri. This happened late Saturday night. Uh, now, motorized bicycles mm. are not allowed on interstates right. in the lane of travel, yes. and that's actually where he was. It wasn't mm. on the shoulder, it was in the lane of travel. Okay. Now, you can have motorized bicycles on other roads and stuff sure. like that, but not in the lane of travel on interstates. There's a Very minimum, right? yeah, yes. obviously m dangerous, but a minimum speed yes. limit as well. Uh, the 21 year old man was from Lamar, Missouri that died in that mm. event. Our number one story, a Joplin, excuse me, a Joplin area firefighter, Reddings Mill firefighter Tucker Berry died in an incident Saturday evening is when the incident occurred. He yes. passed away the next morning on Sunday. They will have services coming up uh, it'll be tomorrow morning. They'll be in Lockwood at the school there. Uh, tragic story still unfolding. The Carl Junction Police Department have asked for information uh, from individuals if they saw a couple of golf carts around Briarbrook late Saturday afternoon mm. and maybe what was happening with those things. So oh, more details. Heartbreaking that, story yeah, there. heartbreaking mm. for sure. And our bonus story of the week, everybody's talking about this. You ever hear the movie Roadhouse from like the 1980s? Oh, probably from my mom. Yeah, your mom. You yeah. know. Well, we all lived it. <laughs> Patrick Swayze, uh, it was a movie that was kind of fictitiously based in a town in Jasper, Missouri. Oh, wow. But they never came here. Sure, they never filmed yes. here, never nothing like that. But now they are building, oh, someone is building that? a grocery store, convenience store, <laughs> gas station called Roadhouse, which is the same logo looking thing. It's so oh, that's incredible. cool. That is yeah. so cool. I just oh, happened to be there over the weekend and I saw the lights of this place. It's got the Double Deuce, which was the name of the bar that mm -hmm. Patrick Swayze worked at mm -hmm. as a bouncer. It's just going to be a beautiful complex. It's on the east side of the interstate, so just outside of town. How so fun is yesterday, that? Uh, people just been talking about it like crazy. Oh, yeah. It was like an oasis when I saw the lights. <laughs> I was like, what is this? So you have to check it out. Absolutely. Unknown when it's going to open, but it's looking like pretty close. Oh, they were just put in fixtures when I saw it. That's definitely exciting. It's your big well, three. Well, Shannon, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Happy to have you as always. And stick around. We'll be right back.